Aloha, I'm Garth Wolf. What's attachment? What's awareness? Let's chat about it. So, attachment, from my understanding, is the action of taking something that is not a part of you through either an emotional or energetic investment. You know, this can be an external object, a belief, an idea, and a role, or even a role we play in life, or the way we show up, you know, and it's taking that and making it a part of us, even though it's actually an external section of, a, of us or an external thing. Um, I say of us because we're all one, we're all connected, but it's actually an external thing and we're putting in an emotional or energetic investment into it greater than either it is probably giving back to us or so much of one that it would affect our life greatly if that was to shift. Um, so it's looking at what attachments are. You know, what are the external objects, belief systems, roles that we play in this life or ideas that we've invested our emotions or energy into <clears throat> that may not be serving anymore? So an awareness though, my understanding of what awareness is, is practice of paying attention to ourselves in the present moment to what is happening inside of us, both mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, as well as what is going on in our immediate environment, what might be happening with others, as well as what's happening with us and what is in those surroundings immediately around us, and being aware of what energies, emotions, thoughts are ours, and what thoughts and energies and emotions are in others. For even though we're all connected, we still have our own personal journey and being aware of what might be influencing us from another can allow us to step into a greater awareness of ourselves and a greater power for ourselves. So consciousness awareness is consciousness evolution because once you're consciously aware of something, you can't go back from that and you have a new paradigm, a new perspective to observe, even if you choose to make the same choice again. We use the example of someone that smokes cigarettes. Someone that smokes cigarettes, whether they know it's bad for them or not, once they learn that it's bad for them, can cause cancer, can shorten their lifespan, and so many other issues, they have to make the conscious choice of either, I don't believe that, I don't care, and I'm going to partake of this anyways, or every time partaking of it going, hmm, this might be killing me or it might not be. Either way, they now have a new awareness. They've re received a new consciousness awareness and their consciousness has evolved. But now they need to make a choice about what to do with that knowledge. And there is no right or wrong choice. There just is. All right, cool. Have an awesome day. That's what I have to say for today. Peace and love. Keeping your awesome selves. And look forward to seeing you in the next video.